tough. And so we started, my brother and I started trying to uh, do different things. Actually, my dad had died in 73. I was still a very young man. And uh, probably the worst thing we had to deal with then is the federal government thinks they own most of what you own. And so we had to deal with death tax at that time. And uh, every generation has to deal with death tax where the government tries to take everything you've got away from you. And, uh, but we tried other avenues of, uh, of income. Uh, we tried seed, sod, but we opened up a hunting business on this particular piece of property. And uh, it took four or five years to get it going, but it actually became a, a fairly substantial part of our income. Uh, one thing we tried to do on most of our property, uh, most of our property is under conservation easements, including this piece of property right here, Brom Island. And there's uh, different reasons for doing that. One is it's going to keep the land pretty much in its natural state. No one will ever build homes here. But there's also some uh, uh, inheritance, inheritance incentives too by doing that because uh, it reduces your rate of uh, property value. So we can act easier, it's be easier to transfer that to the next generation without them pay, is paying as high an inheritance tax. Estate tax problems has been has been our our biggest ordeal. My my grandmother died two years before my father died, and neither one of them had wills. And and uh, 40 years ago, we almost lost everything uh, because of estate taxes. And uh, and and, it, and so we it's taught us to do planning for the future and and uh, and try to get everything taken care of before we leave. And. Um, Another problem we have is, is ownership of land in Florida. We've had a lot of problem with our state coming in here because of so sovereign land rights and trying to take our land from us. And, uh, and they've come up with some really good uh, or, or bad ideas on why we don't own our land. But this area where we're at right now, actually, when Zachary Taylor, Taylor came here in 1837, he documented everything he did every day in his diary. And the state came in and told us it's, that at statehood in 1845 that this ridgeway wasn't here. These 400-year-old oak trees wasn't here. And that this was underwater and it blown to the state. And they did a, a, a serious, expensive study to prove it blown to them. And the night before we went to court, I was reading uh, some of my history books and I had Zachary Taylor's diary when he stayed over here on Bramer Island for about 30 days. And, uh, and he documented these ridgeways, the, the beauty of the uh, sand ridges, the ancient oaks, and the quality of the water. And it basically won that case for us. So that